When I was really young, I wanted to be a jockey and I'd wake up real early in the mornings, put a towel on the couch, <laughs> put trackside on and ride the couch like it was a racehorse. And my family always said, you're gonna be a jockey one day. And I kind of just gave up on it when I had no, no connections into the industry. But you don't have to be raised in the industry to, to do well or get into it. Yeah, there's lots of opportunities. You just gotta meet the right people and there's plenty of people willing to give you a shot. I think the thing I like the most about it is the fact that every day is different. I start riding work at about 4.30, go from babies to our race horses and doing gallops and young horses, jump outs, no two days are the same and every horse is different. I'm very lucky to be where I am now, considering where I started. Having my first race day rides to now leading the premiership, it's pretty cool. I've had a lot of really good support from some really really good people and good trainers trusting me enough to put me on some really good horses so just a lot of luck I think. Sean being my boss he's taught me so much and I definitely wouldn't be where I am if it wasn't for him. I learned so much riding with him it's unbeatable I think. You need quite a, a thick skin and you have to be just as fit mentally as you are physically. You've got to make split second decisions on a 600 kg animal at speed. It's got a mind of its own. You're not always going to ride a horse perfect every single time, so being able to take the take the telling offs and, and use it as as fuel to do better next time. I grew up in a non-horsey background. My first ever lesson on a horse was from a lady who my dad valeted her car <laughs> and he got me a pony ride. So I went and did that and I fell in love and unfortunately for him that was the start of an obsession. I started riding work in Ruakaka for Kenny, taught me the ropes and kind of dropped me in the deep end, which I'm really grateful for. I think my family's pretty proud coming out all the way down here by myself and giving it a crack. They enjoy watching me on the TV and cheering me on, so that's pretty cool. One of the most rewarding parts about it is winning on horses that you ride every day. You make a pretty strong bond with them. Sean's been really encouraging of me riding work for other trainers. He wants me to get my name out there as much as I can. Anytime someone wants me to do a gallop or ride a horse, he's always for it. Put in a bit extra work to get the race day rides. You know, just keep building a foundation. Andrew Forsman's been a really, really big part of my career as well. He's been really supportive, giving me some really, really, really nice rides and trusting me with some really good horses. So that's been awesome. I quite often ride for John Bell too. And he, he, he's given me quite a lot of rides on some nice horses as well. When you get, get on those nice horses and you're able to stay on them, it's a good feeling. For the rest of the season, I really want to sharpen up my riding so that I can get put on those better horses and get in those bigger, better races. I want to make the most of my apprenticeship. I want to outride my claim and make sure that it's my riding people like, not my claim. I would love to win a black type race. Ultimately, I want to win the premiership. It'd be a pretty proud moment not only for me, I think for my family as well. This is the first, first thing that I've really had the drive for and, and the passion for.